Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I wasn't really planning on making a video, but I was researching and I finally got something to work that I've been trying to do for the longest time. And that is getting Gcam to work on the Samsung S10 Plus Beta for One UI 2.0. And I have no idea if this works on S9s or any other Samsung devices. I just know it works for the S10 Plus in my experience. So hopefully it'll work for you guys and I'll tell you step by step on what to do and how to download and how to enable like astrophotography, etc, etc. Anyway, let's get right into it. So first things first, you want to go to this website right here. I'll put the link in the description for everything that I have here and for the actual download link. So you want to find one that's called Uranix 05 version 1.3 APK. Now, I've literally downloaded every single Gcam port on this website for this S10 Plus just for it to like not work and this is basically the only one out of all the ones listed here that has works for my device for the new version I'm not talking about the old version of the Gcam new version that has astrophotography etc etc and I'll show you guys when we open up the app what it looks like and stuff like that so all you do is you click it it'll take you here you click that and then once you click this, it'll download it. And I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to download it again. But you just click the first one right here, right here, the first link. It, you saw it flashing in the beginning. And you'll click it, and it'll start downloading to your device. And now, after that, it's basically very simple. You go to the camera, and it should install, right? It'll ask you to allow, allow, and stuff like that. And keep in mind, I'm talking about this for the Android 10 One UI 2.0 Beta for Samsung S10 Plus. Keep that in mind, okay? So now we go into the camera app. And you see here, this is what it looks like. So this is how, and there's these buttons up top that you can enable that they have. And you're probably wondering, well, it doesn't look that good, but trust me, it's a lot better. So it's gonna look a little bit laggy on my screen because of how Visor works, but yeah. Anyways, so first we have here, so you want to go down here. I always have motion disabled, timer off, flash off, full image, HDR plus enhanced, or just HDR plus. And then you go to settings. This is where everything is. So my general settings are I turn off save location, turn off camera sounds, camera, Google lens, all that stuff, because I don't really need it, and I don't use it. I always do grid type 3x3, three three, which is always nice. Always remember to have camera full resolution. And to take advantage of the 4K video recording, mainly you probably wouldn't use this camera app for video recording, but if you do, make sure you have it set to 4K. And now, everything here is fine, it's super simple, but what you want to do to enable astrophotography, so you go here into advanced, and the HDR plus control is what I use as well, that's just something to do. You can always use raw photos as well, 30 lens. And I do have the Pixel Auto White Balance HDR Plus enabled on the Pixel 3 version of the Auto White Balance. You can have maximum screen brightness, but like I said, all you have to do to enable astrophotography is click this button that literally says enable astrophotography. And if you want to take it, take it to the next level, you can have it default for the max exposure time, and that's probably fine. But if you're in super, super pitch black dark areas with no sunlight whatsoever and you want to get those beautiful stars, then six, you can go all the way to 60. But I just prefer leaving it at max exposure time to default. So auxiliary cameras, this is how the buttons showed up before. So we have the show buttons, telephoto and wide. And I have them both enabled, obviously. And to show that they work, we'll go back, go to here. This is... It'll do that and okay. Okay, so uh, apparently the only the wide works, which is fine with me. I, I'm not complaining. It has a little warping, you know, you could see that. But mainly this is just for point and shoot for the HDR and better detail that, the, that, the, that you can't get on the Samsung camera, but you can on this one. So now that that's done, astrophotography is technically enabled. But in order to actually use it, you have to go into the night side mode, swipe down from the top, and you have to put the focus to infinity and timer to three. This will activate astrophotography. This, this is the settings you need 
for astrophotography to enable and actually work on your Samsung S10 Plus with the Gcam app. Well yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I was just very excited to see that I finally found a working Gcam port. Let me know if it works for you guys in the comments below. I love Gcam. That's the only down well, that's the only downside I have with Samsung. The cameras aren't as good as Google's and I love that finally there is a working Gcam port and I just wanted to spread the word. Anyways, if you did enjoy this video, it would mean a lot to me if you could like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. And let me know in the comments below what you think of Google's cameras and how they are the best in the game. Anyways, that's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.